Hey everyone, you are watching the Shunt Electronics Show, your weekly technical news bulletin. We will discuss technology news in short. So, let's start. 1. ARMS unveils new chip Cortex A78A for advanced driver assistance systems. The processor combines high performance and power efficiency to deliver the safe compute in thermally constrained designs. 2. Butterfly MX, a smart intercom company from New York, raises $35 million growth equity funding. Contactless entry technology, which is expected to be an over $22 billion market by 2027. 3. Hapsch, the virtual reality glove maker wins 1.5 meters grant from National Science Foundation, NSF, to bring haptic feedback to users' arms and legs. Haptics is the science and technology of transmitting and understanding information through touch. 4. China's biggest automaker say to launch 100 new green models by 2025. The models will be electric vehicle, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles and plug-in hybrid models. 5. India plans $4.6 billion in incentives for battery makers in electric vehicle push. India could slash its oil import bills by as much as $40 billion by 2030 if electric vehicles were widely adopted. 6. Rolls-Royce completes ground testing of technology set to power the world's fastest all-electric plane under the Accelerating the Electrification of Flight XL, project. It includes a 500-horsepower electric powertrain powerful enough to set world speed records and a battery with enough energy to supply 250 homes. 7. Microsoft finds underwater data centers are reliable, practical and use energy sustainably. In 2018, Microsoft submerged a small data center off the coast. Two years later, the sealed nitrogen-filled cylindrical data center was analyzed to find eight times less than that of typical data centers. 8. Mouser in collaboration with ST Microelectronics published seven experts on designing commercially successful smart home devices. The book includes insight from industry-leading company experts like Microsoft, Cisco, Emerson, PTC etc. 9. NXP Semiconductors has opened the 150mm, 6-inch, RF gallium nitride, GON, fab in Chandler, Arizona. It is the most advanced GON fab for RF in the United States. 10. NVIDIA to build UK's fastest supercomputer, Cambridge One. It is a joint project between GSK, AstraZeneca, Guys and St. Thomas NHS Foundation Trust, King's College London, and Oxford Nanopore. It is expected to come online by year-end 2020. It will be used for drug discovery, preventative medicine, and more. 11. AMD announced Ryzen 5000 series desktop CPUs, based on the updated Zen 3 architecture. AMD claims the highest single-threaded performance of any desktop gaming processor. The Ryzen chips have consistently had better multi-threaded performance than Intel's processors. 12. Sony uses liquid metal as thermal interface material, TIM, in PlayStation 5. The liquid metal will be used to transfer heat between system on a chip and its heatsink. 13. AMD is in advanced discussions to buy Xilinx Incorporated in a takeover that could be valued at $30 billion. The acquisition will help Shielding to enter a profitable market for data center computer components. 14. NVIDIA launched high-performance networking and storage Bluefield 2 data processor units, DPUs, for data centers. DPUs offload critical networking, storage, and security tasks from CPUs, to free them to run other applications. 15. September month revenue for TSMC was $4.44 billion and was up by 24.9% year-on-year basis. 2020 revenues for TSMC are expected to be 20% higher than the previous year. 16. Qualcomm is developing its own gaming smartphone and will be made in conjunction with Asus. The phone will come with 5 nanometers Snapdragon 875 and new high-performance Cortex-X1 core. 17. ST Microelectronics launches La SAR Alliance, an ecosystem to develop and accelerate augmented reality R, smart glass products. Founding members in the Law SAR Alliance include Applied Materials, Dispelix, Mega One, Osram, and ST Microelectronics. 18. On Semiconductor has introduced a 2.3 pixel 120-frame slash S global shutter image sensor for machine vision and mixed reality displays. The company said that produces crisp and clear images by minimizing frame-to-frame -frame distortion in high-speed scenes and reducing the motion artifacts. 19. 
Broadcom the U.S. chipmaker settles with European antitrust regulators. The company will suspend all existing agreements containing exclusivity or quasi-exclusivity arrangements and or leveraging provisions concerning systems on a chip, so CS, for TV set-top boxes and Internet modems. 20. Infineon starts shipping Cypress PSOC 64 Secure MCUs. Cypress Semiconductor PSOC 64 Secure Microcontrollers are designed to give Internet of Things IoT, designers confidence in the security of their applications. 21. DDK has launched a 300 watts buck boost converter in the i7C series. The 12.5 anon isolated DC-DC converter can seamlessly transition from buck to boost mode operation without disruption in performance. 22. Infineon Technologies AG has released the Trivio 2 Body Microcontroller, MCU. MCU family addresses automotive applications, including body control modules, door, window, sunroof, and seat control. 23. Keysight launched first 256 GSS arbitrary waveform generator with 65 GHz analog bandwidth. This will solve current test instrument limitations of higher transmission speeds levels that are impossible to reach. That's all for this video. Hope you like it. Please do like, follow and subscribe to Shunt Electronics for informative videos on electronics and computers. Please do comment for any special video request.